everything happened for a reason. I, I I believe that more and more every day. Who who knows what would happen? You probably could have you know hurt the guy because you you're a pretty tough dude, man. You be fucking people up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I do. I've been watching. He be fucking people up. You could have you could have you know put dude in the hospital for a little while. You know it it, it, it probably like. You know, you never know. Yeah, you never yeah. know what. I know what you mean. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But, never know what. what but what, what, how, you, how do you mentally get out of the out of the mind frame of, you know, that 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 situation with Bobby? Like, are we past that now? Are we past this fight now? Like, I don't, I don't, I can't relate as a fighter. But can you kind of bring me into into the mind a little bit? Honestly, that's. I think it's gonna take a lot more time. You know, I talked to Wonder Boy. I gave him a call the other day, and I asked him like, "Yo, like, you know, like, like just being like." Like being a believer, like being a Christian, like how did you, like how do you, how do you like change your mindset from, like for me, it's like I've always like my mindset's always been like okay, I gotta go in there and finish, like put my life on the line, I gotta kill or be killed, you know what I mean? Like how do you switch that to not having all that extra malice in your heart to want to like really hurt somebody and still perform, you know, and still perform at the highest level and still be a, like a, a stellar successful athlete? And he was telling me you gotta look at it more as a sport and. And I understand it, and it's just it's just hard, you know. It's gonna be like a whole new, a whole new rewiring of my brain to like look at look at MMA like that, you know. And it's, you know, it is a sport, you know. But I, like like you just said, like if I don't go finish the guy, and he comes back, he could give me a concussion, you know what I mean? Or he yeah. can. You have kids. You injured. have your, your own family, your own web being to to look at. Like um, when I when I first you know um, went through my my spiritual enlightenment, my journey. It was hard for me too. The crazy thing about me though, the um, second time I fought Mandalay, the first day of training camp, I became what Christians call born again. First day of training camp. Craziest thing ever happened to me. The weirdest thing ever happened to me. Catch the Holy Ghost spirit, the whole thing. First day of training camp. And my, my training camp at that time, they thought I was crazy. Uh, I remember I was training with Carlo Oyama and he had some preacher come look at me and come talk to me. And see if I was crazy. And then he was like, no, he ain't crazy. He, because you became born again? They thought you were crazy? Yeah, because cause, um, when when you take a, one day you take a dramatic change like that, people look at you like you crazy. It's it's the weir- it's the weirdest thing that ever that ever happened to me. I can't really explain it with words, but basically if I'm if I'm going to try to explain it, it's like it's like you kind of feel like you wanted Jesus Christ disciples. Like I had the urge to read, want to read the Bible, and I f- and and it felt like Jesus was talking through me, like He gave me words to say, stuff like that. And I and I'm speaking now. Now I'm no longer religious, because for my own for my for my own opinions, I'm no longer religious. But I still believe Jesus Christ is real and all this stuff, because I can't deny all this stuff that I went through. But I just decided to step away from religions because, in my opinion, I feel like that's what um, another thing that we can. Um, be prejudiced against each other for. 